Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time but really glad to see you all again. Today you join us for the second episode in our series called Couple Keywords, the game in which we take a couple that we know well and that we love. And what we do is we take apart some random keywords that they will choose and we will have a go at as well for us to share our experiences on. And today we have some special friends, they're one of our best friends, they have been amazing, we learn a lot from them. So let me introduce you to Brandon and Karen. Woo! Hi! How are you guys doing? So good, how are you guys? It's great to see you. Dallas almost says hey. Dallas is joining us today. <laughs> Oh yes, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this video. Yeah, of course, pleasure, thank man. you for asking us. No, no, no problem at all, it's a blessing to us and we're hoping to get some real wisdom from you guys today. Dallas has been looking forward to this for a really long time. <laughs> we love it. Um, so yeah, as, as, as discussed, what we're going to do is take apart some random uh, terms that we've got. And we'd, we'd just love to hear your experiences on them. So Karen, we'd love a number from one to seven from you. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Take okay, a I'll pick uh, six. Number six. Mm, I was going to pick six. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> pick number six for Karen. Okay. What does yeah. it say? Working on self. So Karen, you will be talking about working on <laughs> Okay. Self. Okay, the first thing that comes to my mind is when Brian and I were dating, there was a season that we used to fight a lot. And because we did the long distance, right? I grew up in Guatemala, he grew up in the US and we just had to do the long distance thing. So there was a season when we started to get to know each other that I would get offended for everything. For every little thing, I will make a big deal out of it and I will make it a problem. And then suddenly I got this epiphany that like, Karen, if you don't change your reactions, you're going to lose this guy. Um, so I realized that and I started working on myself, uh, working on not reacting bad and having normal conversations instead of reacting. And I think that really helped our relationship. I don't know if we would have continued together if I was behaving like that. So. There's that. Wow, yes, that's fantastic, fantastic. Brandon, Brandon, are you with me, brother? I'm with you, I'm here, I'm ready, I think. Can you pick a number from one to seven apart from number six? I'm, I'm between two, I'm between two, I'm between five and seven, but I really want to pick seven, I think. Seven. I'm gonna pick seven, I'm gonna pick seven. So Nanny, do you wanna pick number seven? Yep, yeah, I'm ready. What is it? Facing the opposite opinion. So facing the opposite opinion, I think a super important thing to hold on to in any relationship, whether it's a marriage, a dating relationship, a friendship, a working relationship, whatever it is, is always be in a position to learn. I think humility is something that's so important because the moment that you feel like you have all the answers, the moment that you feel like you're right all the time, that's the moment that you're gonna build up walls and prevent there being a, a genuine deep relationship. And so whenever there comes time that there's opposition, when you approach it hump with humility to learn and to think to yourself, maybe there's a reason why this person is thinking the way that they're thinking. Maybe there's a reason why they're acting the way that they're acting. And rather than trying to prove your point, I think opposition is a very healthy thing for relationships. So just come at it in humility, learn, and just try to find common ground with, with the other person. Oh man, how true mm -hmm. is that? That's so good. Thank you so much for, for sharing that with us, Brandon. Absolutely, thanks. I, this is fun. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited to hear your guys' little nuggets. So Nanny, we have six and seven, I think it is, that are missing. So one to five, pick a number. Number three, there you go. Pray together, stay together. Fantastic. Hit us with one minute of wisdom. Right, I find it like, for example, when if I'm really angry, it's really hard like to try to talk with store because it's hard to take the, the decision, you know, to be the first person to talk with each other. So something that I find really helpful is that if we're really angry, I said to Stuart, just, can you just hug me and can we just pray together? <laughs> because you put all the anger, like when you have a, a problem or any hard situation, you just put it in front of God. You know, like come bring the things to the altar. 
so that God can work on it. So I find it like really helpful. Just pray together is something that really not just release the anger between each other, but also give us a peace and the wisdom to try to resolve things together. Awesome. That's great. That's good. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm left with me now. So I'm going to pick <laughs> my first one here that is number one. And it is, guys, drum roll please. It says, let's just give up. Oftentimes in relationships, it is very easy when things get difficult to say, do you know what? I'm just gonna, we're just, it's easier not to fight it. And I'm kind of going off the back of what Brandon was talking about in facing difficulties, facing these hard times. And the Bible is very clear and it actually promises difficult times for us. Yeah. Not that it doesn't promise that these times are gonna be easy. And I think there's a reason for that. And I think that's because while we're going through these processes, God shapes us to be uh, who he wants us to be through them. So he develops our character whilst we go through them. And I think there's a reason for that. I mean, let's look at our families, for example. We can't just sack our families off when we decide that we don't we don't agree on certain things actually what makes them family is being able to get along with them and also disagree with them and yeah. in that we're able to grow together be open be vulnerable and be honest That's good. thank you so much guys for joining us for a uh, couple's keywords we're really blessed to have you guys as friends absolutely man the best four minutes of my life <laughs> we love you guys Love that. Well, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, we would love you to just hit that subscribe button. We're going to be offering more videos like this and just seeking to just better our relationships in every way, shape and form. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you guys for the next video. Thank you so much, Karen and Brandon. Love, love you guys. You.